Example 3.9. In this example, we have water flowing through a pipe reducer. The static pressure of 0.1 and 0.2 can be measured by inverting a U2 manometer container and oil of a specific gravity less than 1. The goal of the problem is to determine the reading of that manometer. Since the goal of the problem is to determine the value of H, we first need to determine the difference of pressure between 0.1 and 0.2. There are two methods to do it, one by Bernoulli's and another one by using hydrostatic pressures. So let's do it by Bernoulli's. From Bernoulli's, we could say that P1 plus one half rho V1 square plus gamma Z1 is equal to P2 plus one half rho V2 square plus gamma c2. Notice that we know the information, the, the differences between these two points is given, so we have to keep these two values. The value of pressures is what we're looking for, and the value of the velocities we could find, or the relationship between the velocities could be found using continuity. So we're going to write that between point 0.1 and point 0.2, continuity is given by this equation. We are going to assume that the fluid is incompressible, so we're going to relate velocity of 0.1 with velocity of 0.2 by the ratio of the areas. And we are going to replace it into this equation so we could get an equation for the differences between pressures. So we have P1 minus P2 and that is going to be equal to gamma C2 minus E1 plus one half rho and then we have B2 square minus B1 square. You could also write this equation using this relationship so we have gamma Z2 minus E1 plus one half rho b2 square minus a2 a1 square times b2 square and we could factor it out therefore it becomes z2 minus e1 plus one half rho b2 square of one minus a2, A1 to the second power. So as we said, this is the relationship of pressures using Bernoulli's. We could get also this relationship using hydrostatic distribution. So let's do that step. We're going to say that P1 is going to be equal to P2. We're going from here to this point. So that is going to be minus gamma of water uh, times the distance between those two points, which is going to be L. And go, go from this point to this. That's going to be also negative because we're going upwards. And that is going to be gamma of oil times H. And then we go from this point to point 1. That's going to be plus because we're going down and that is gamma of water and then the distances are going to be H plus L plus C2 minus Z1. Please recall from the previous chapter that gamma of oil is simply going to be the specific gravity times the gamma of water. So if we substitute all these values and we solve for P1 minus P2 we're going to find that this relationship becomes gamma Z2 minus E1 plus 1 minus specific gravity times gamma of water H. So notice that the gamma that is being used in both equations is the gamma of water. Now that we have two equations for P1 minus P2, one using hydrostatic distribution and the other one by using 
Bernoulli's, but however, these two equations must be the same. We're going to make them equal to each other so that we could find the value of h. Now, if we take these two relationships and we make them equal to each other, we could see that gamma z2 minus z1 plus 1 half rho b2 squared 1 minus a2 a1 squared is equal to gamma c1, I'm sorry, c2 minus u1 plus 1 minus the specific gravity of the oil, gamma h. Notice that the value of gamma c2 and z1 cancel each other. And we could solve for h by simply saying that h is equal to 1 half rho b2 squared 1 minus a2 a1 square divided by 1 minus sg times the value of gamma. Please make sure that you're able to obtain both relationships for the difference of pressure by a hydrostatic distribution and also by Bernoulli's equation. Also make sure that you know how to apply the continuity equation so that you could get a relationship between the velocity at point one and the velocity at point two so that you could get to this equation.